welcome to Karen Tyrrell's ISO Book Show, where I give away free books. I'm sitting in front of a tropical beach holding picture book, I Wonder, by Alison Patterson, illustrated by Nancy Bevington. Today, I interview the book creator, acclaimed author, Alison Patterson. Hi, everyone. Alison is a multi is multi talented. She's the author of highly acclaimed children's books, An Anzac Sons, Five Brothers on the Western Front, Granny's Place, and Shearing Time, and two books in the highly successful Australian Remember series. Alison was a teacher librarian for over 20 years and was a recipient of a May Gibbs Children's Literature Fellowship. Alison now works full time as a writer, as a publishing consultant, and a presenter in schools. Plus, she reviews children's literature for Magpies Magazine. Let's give Alison a very warm welcome. Hi everyone. I'll take my hat off now. I've got back from the beach, been for my morning walk. How are you all? <laughs> I'm well, Alison. Great. I love your book. Oh, thank you so much, Karen. That means a lot to me. I'm just about to ask you a few questions. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. I love I Wonder. What's it about? Oh, Karen, this book is about a little wooden boat who gets left behind at the beach. And odd things tumble by, like a plastic bag and a plastic cup and a straw, and they tumble into the ocean. The little wooden boat starts to wonder and worry, is he going to be like those things too? I won't tell you the end though, Karen, because that would be a spoiler, wouldn't it? But this story is all about caring for our world, looking after our environment, and sustainability, the little things we can do to help our world. Alison, what inspired you to write, I wonder? Ah, well, I'm very, very lucky, Karen, to live near uh, the beach. It's a beautiful beach. And uh, early one morning, I went for a walk along the beach and the sun was just coming up. And when I arrived there, there was all this rubbish along the foreshore there had been a family event there the night before and people had been a little bit careless about picking up after themselves and the council workers were arriving to pick up the rubbish and I wondered why why would we do those sorts of things why can't we look after our world a little bit better and as I walked along the beach I wrote the story of a little wooden boat in my head and when I got home, I wrote it down and I sent it to the publishing company, Big Sky Publishing, who published my other books. They loved it and said, we want to turn it into a book for our Caring for Our World series. And I was so excited. So the beautiful book, I Wonder, came to be. Thanks, Alison. Um, how's I Wonder different to other books on caring for the ocean and the environment? Actually, Karen, that's a really good question. This book is about the little things that we can do, the small steps we can all take every day that can make a big difference when you collect all those small steps together. Simple things like looking after our belongings and repairing them, maybe buying less things in the first place, making sure we try to buy things made of natural products rather than buying plastic things, which are very bad for our environment, and trying wherever we can to remember to bring our own water bottles and fill them up from the tap. Do you know plastic bottles are one of the biggest causes of environmental pollution in our oceans? Doing little things like that can make a huge difference to our world. 
Thanks, Alison. Um, Alison, how do Nancy's illustrations enhance your book? Oh, I was so excited, Karen, when I heard that Nancy was going to be the illustrator for I Wonder. I love her illustrations. They are so whimsical and enchanting. Uh, and that's perfect for a book called I Wonder, isn't it? Um, but Nancy has this beautiful way of adding so much to the story. So I don't actually tell a lot of it in the words. Nancy shows us. And if you have a look at this illustration here of the seagull, here's the seagull here. It's all tangled up. Oh, the, yeah. did you say seagull? I did say seagull. Well, I couldn't find a seagull, but this was the closest thing. Oh, well, do you know what? That's very important. It's a gorgeous Australian bird, our cockatoo. And caring for our world is just as important for cockatoos because they like to pick up things off the ground as well. Um, and that, it, you know, rubbish can be very dangerous for them too. So thanks, Karen, for reminding us. It's not just about the beach. It's about our bush too, isn't it? Exactly. Mm. And so Nancy's illustrations are just amazing. You can see lots of little things. Have a look at the background there too. All the rubbish falling out of the bin. Um, so being careful about making sure um, we put our rubbish in places where it's not going to hurt the environment. So if you see a full bin, maybe you should walk on down to the next one and find another spot to put the rubbish. And look, this is one of my favourite pictures or my favourite double page spreads when the poor little wooden boat is starting to look very, very bedraggled and he's really starting to worry what's going to happen. Um, so Nancy's illustrations are just incredible. And I love that she was the illustrator for this book. I love, I love her illustrations too. They're great. Oh, thank you. Okay, Alison, please share your very, your very top tip on uh, writing children's picture books. Well, I think it's related to what I just said, that every word counts and they're quite precious in a picture book. You can't have too many words and... Once you see those illustrations, be prepared to take out words. We removed whole sentences. Once we, we had some of Nancy's illustrations, actually, I think it was this page by luck, we actually took out whole sentences because Nancy was showing us the story rather than telling me telling it. Hmm. Hmm. Thanks for that, Alison. Um, where can readers find kids' activities and teacher notes for I Wonder? Oh, we have some great teacher notes. Um, and you can find them on Big Sky Publishing's website or on my website as, as well. Um, and Nancy has created in those teacher notes some fabulous activities. So if you're stuck at home, like so many people at the moment, you could hop online and have a look at the teacher activities and have some fun as well, um, doing some colouring in and creating some things. Um, so yeah, have a look on the website and you will find I will, them. definitely will. Sounds, sounds like a lot of fun. Um, oh, the most important thing, where can we buy I Wonder? Of course. Well, if you're allowed out and about, you can pop down to your local bookstore and um, they will have it there or they can order it in for you. Or you can hop online to Big Sky Publishing or my website again. And there are lots of links on those for you to go to an online supplier and buy them there, like Dimmix and Booktopia. So if you're stuck at home, you can do that as well. Excellent. Thanks, Alison. Um, please stay there for a sec. Um, I'm going to talk to the, um, to the readers and listeners out there now sure. about a free book. Okay. Oh. Who wants to win a signed copy of I Wonder? It's easy as one, two, three. Number one, <laughs> subscribe to Karen Tyrrell Author. That's me. Number two, comment on why you want to win I Wonder. And number three, the winner will be announced in two weeks. Meanwhile, please stay safe. Wash your hands, keep your social distance, and read, read, read. Bye for now. Bye, everyone.